This is a powerful attack that will damage multiple targets. It can also be aftertouched to create several smaller fireballs. To charge a fireball, raise your right hand and wave it from side to side. You can also charge the spell by raising your hand and saying fireball. Let's see what this willstone can do. That white Valvery from Fergus's village. Locked. I have to find another way out. More bugs! Mm, there's gas coming from those vents. again. Those gloves, isn't he? They're not gloves, they're gauntlets. Well, what's the difference? I think you'll find that a gauntlet has an extended cuff. Gloves do not. Mm, listen to you. I didn't know you knew so much about fashion. There's plenty you don't know about.
Balverines again. Come on, Gabriel, you can do this! constantly mollycoddling him, encouraging him all the time. That's what we're here for, to oversee and encourage. Oh, I always wondered why they stuck us here. I thought it was some kind of punishment. Oh, very funny. You think you're the only one who finds this job hard. What about me? I've given you the best centuries of my life, stuck in this place with just you for company, forced to watch you slowly turn into your father. I mean, I thought he was a miserable old git, but compared to you... <clears throat>
Only one of us is getting out of here alive. And it's not gonna be you! Almost out. Just need to get this door open. Bob? Finley? Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Uh, yes, very welcome. She always loved these white ones. Very rare. Whenever she found one, she'd make me stop and pick it up. She'd write little notes on each one. Where we were going what we were doing when we found it. She called them her memory stones. Rest well, my darling. The shadow! It's back! We must get away, or we'll all be buried here! Destroying those tendrils might buy me some time. The crystals! Maybe I could use them to create more life.
the blind one. Where is the seer? She has grown weak indeed if she did not foresee my coming. This time, I will finish her. Dig us three more graves, Woodsman. Help me! Focus! <laughs> there is no one to save Focus! you now. No! All those dear to you will be broken by my hand. They will kneel to my master till the end of Come days. On! Now's my chance! Is it over? It's over. Old Bessie here must have scared him off. <sighs> Lie still. I can heal you. No, that. Leave me be. No. No, I can save you. I'll have you home before you know it. <sighs> I am home, lad. He died at peace. No man can ask for more. Come. It's time for me to remove the gauntlets. No. Where do we find the next Willstone? I can't believe he's gone. The end will come for us all one day. The Devourer was only a warning of what is to come. Sent by the Corruptor to pave the way for his arrival. The Corruptor? A dark entity. Evil, twisted, and powerful without equal. You have seen him already. The Pool of Sight. Long has the Corruptor sought a way to break through into this world. After millennia of searching, he has finally found one. He has sent his lieutenants to remove any who can resist his return. Lieutenants? The Devourer was the first, but there is another. A foul serpent, the Temptress. We must remain vigilant. The Corruptor? He's tried entering this world before, hasn't he? The three heroes, he was the evil they stopped. You are astute, Gabriel. On that occasion, the Corruptor sent forth only a single lieutenant. But the heroes were able to seal it beneath the earth, where it lay dormant for many centuries. If we do not find the remaining wheelstones and reach the spire in time to seal the rift before the Corruptor's emergence, all our efforts will have been in vain. 
Then we have no time to lose. Somewhere in Myrmoor stands a henge. Beneath it lies a temple of the enlightened. It contains another of the willstones we seek. Seems like it's always raining. All that's happened. Everything that's been destroyed. What's it all for? What does the Corruptor want? To reclaim something he believes was taken from him long ago, at the height of the Old Kingdom. The Corruptor was once a man, or rather part of a man. His name was William Black, the first and perhaps the greatest hero Albion has ever known. But how could it... He be a hero. Long ago, William saved Albion from enslavement and was crowned its ruler. But his victory came at a great cost, for he suffered a terrible wound to his soul. As Albion prospered, William slowly wasted away, his spirit twisted by a festering darkness. Realizing what would become of Albion if he let himself be consumed, he gave up the crown and traveled to the void. There he cut the corruption from within him, sealing it away forever. Or so he had hoped. For the evil he cleaved from himself lived on, angry and powerful. It is bent on one goal, to return to our world and reclaim the throne denied him by William's sacrifice. And Black? What happened to him? He was never seen again, at least not in any form that those who knew him would recognize. This place is so depressing. It was not always so. A great city once stood here, founded by a group of heroes.
What happened to the people who lived here? Tired of the sacrifices of their work, these champions decided to begin new lives. By channeling will into the barren ways, they made the soil fertile and were soon harvesting abundant crops. However, the foundations they had laid were weak. The very land they thought would support their city instead consumed it. That's done the trick.